media singer, an international wine communicator, educator, and television presenter. Now, one of the most important things that people want to know about a wine is why is oak so famously used in winemaking? And what does it actually do to the wine? There has always been a strong relationship between oak and wine. Since Roman times, the wood of the oak tree has been prized for its ability to make strong, watertight barrels, perfect for the making, storing, and transportation of wine. Nowadays, with other materials at their disposal, the use of oak is a winemaker's choice rather than a necessity. It's used to give distinctive aromas and flavors to a wine. The story of how a barrel is made begins in the forests of Europe and North America, where most of the oak used for winemaking comes from. The wood is cut into long pieces called staves, and then it's allowed to dry and harden. The making of the barrel is a difficult and specialized job, performed by a cooper. The cooper's challenge is to bend the hard, straight staves into rounded barrel shape. Plenty of heat is needed to make the staves pliable. The heating of the staves toasts the inside of the barrel, which creates all sorts of interesting flavors. When the barrels are filled, the wine will gradually take on these flavors. Now, the length of a time that a wine spends in barrel can vary from a few months to a few years. Generally speaking, the more time a wine spends in barrel, the more oak flavor it'll take on. Newly coopered oak barrels are incredibly expensive, often costing upwards of 1,000 euros. But many winemakers feel that it's worth the cost, as the flavors that oak gives to a wine really are incredible. The most common wines you'll find are baking spices, such as vanilla, cinnamon, and clove. You may even get a terrific smoky aroma that comes from the heating and charring of the barrel during cooperage. There are many wine regions that traditionally use plenty of oak in their winemaking. But on the flip side, there are also regions where the use of oak is quite rare. However, if you are someone who enjoys spicy reds, look out for wines from Rioja in Spain, where the use of oak is a very traditional part of the winemaking culture. If you see the words Crianza, Reserva, or Gran Reserva on the label, you can expect quite strong, oaky flavors. If oaky whites are your thing, then seek out white wines of the Burgundy region in France. Villages such as Puy Fissé and Mousseau produce fantastic oaky whites that are perfect for an indulgent treat. Spend a little time reading the label if you're unsure whether a wine will be oaky. The winemaker may have given you a clue with words like barrel-aged or reserver, or they may have offered a description on the back label to highlight the oaky character of the wine using words such as spicy or toasty. Oak characters can be a great addition to a wine, but they aren't suited to everyone's palate. It's important to note that oak doesn't inherently make a wine better, it just makes it different. So if you prefer your wines without oaky flavors, there are plenty of outstanding wines available for you to enjoy that have never seen the inside of a barrel. We hope you enjoyed this three minute wine school. Visit wsetglobal.com to find out more about taking a WSET course.